Okay, so this is my leather jacket collection. This is the first, this is pretty much part one. Eventually next year, January-ish, you know, I want to do a part two because this year, you know, with me getting some money in and trying to get a bit of work in, you know, I've been putting money towards some things that I do want to invest in that are going to have a payoff, you know, later on down the line. And what I've been doing for this year, you know, from the early summer, is putting money towards leather jackets. And I still am, especially, you know, next month I want to order in two jackets that you guys are going to see a video of, which is August, uh, October, November, and then December. And let me tell you guys something, man. The jackets I'm about to show, the secret to buying these jackets do not wait during the fall, do not wait during the winter, because the prices are going to go up. You want to buy them during the summertime, because it's going to be better and cheaper prices. So with that being said, no skip right on into it. Here is my first buckskin jacket that is cowhide with the suede leather, real leather. You guys take a look at that in the front. This is a size 4X. You know, anybody that's been around me in person, you know, my body mass goes up and down, but I'm a pretty bulky person right here in the chest area. And then I get a little big right here in the stomach area. But I like this. This is really nice. I enjoy it. It still smells new. It smells good. And, you know, this is good material that's going to last for so, so long. I really enjoy that jacket. Uh, next one is, has a classic, you know, biker leather jacket look, but it mines has the frills on it, like the buckskin frill design on the back going down towards the arms. This is really really great material uh, I really you know enjoy this jacket I haven't got a chance to wear it but I can't wait till this winter too right here very good very heavy you know I love it it's comfortable good material the next one is a new one that came in yesterday and I'll show you guys because there's a bit of a problem with it now me I consider myself a bigger guy I feel like I'm a bigger guy and some people say I ain't so I ordered this one in a 5x <laughs> it is like huge um, that looks like it's made out of different leather parts because it has like all that stitching going down and I want to re-get this one in a 4X that is more my size, or 3X. You know, a 4X and a 3X big, but probably be a 4X. But I still like this 5X right here. It, it's comfortable. Yes, you do get pretty warm in this really quick, but that's good. You know, it, 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 it just really goes good. You know, you got where you can tuck the end of the belt inside the jacket. You know, you got the ties right up in there as well. In the back. And you got a vest that's like the interior liner. With, you guys can see that with the zipper kind of going down in the inside right there. And that can also be removed. Um, other than that, you know, with it being too big, which is the only problem. It, it's still a really great jacket. I'm still going to keep it really good and, you know, heavy. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll probably get the 4X one. Maybe sometime next month or later in this month. Uh, next one is one I found over at Goodwill, which is a size... I think XL, but it's a misprint. 
because it's a bit bigger than an XL and it fits me really good. I uh, put this pin on it right here that I have found in an old jewelry box. Really good condition. You know, cleaned it up right there. Just really classic look. Um, I bought this one to replace one that was like an Italian jacket that, you know, I grew out of that I had packed away. And this one, you know, reminded me of that jacket. Just really good. Really nice jacket. Right there. So, next one is another one that I found over at Goodwill. And it looks like it's made out of different parts, as you can tell. Um, this jacket was a bit rough. I got it fixed up as much as possible. Uh, and also cleaned it up as well. Uh, the other good size is a size 2XL. These pins I found and also bought as well to put on there to bring it some, some characteristic. And I love the way it fits. I love these parts right here because they're much bigger. And the smaller the jacket, the bigger these flaps are going to be. But the bigger they are, the smaller they're going to be. Just really, overall, just really great. And I saw a lot of people just passing this one up, and I'm like, what's wrong with it? And I saw some character, and so I saw something in this jacket, fixed it up, cleaned it up, you know, put these pins on there. These two I found that were family related uh, these ones this mu musical note USA Batman one this Batman one this right here whatever it is this Batman one this one and this one you know I pretty much bought them and put them in the jacket really really comfortable jacket really great really nice enjoyed this one as well can't beat it last jacket right here for now is one that I ordered that's a 4X which is a suede cowhide buckskin jacket that's red right there and I want to get another one like this but it's going to be more of the shiny leather material as well it has real beatings right there real native designs goes throughout the back and on the arms as well. Love the way it smells. It's really comfortable. And those right there are pretty much my leather jacket collections. And I got some bit of older leather jackets that are more I guess street fetish like I have a beat up one. I'm going to get that one because I am growing out of that one. But I'm trying to drop right here to refit it. Uh... What else? I got like a big sports coat. I think it's like a football leather jacket. Um, and then like a white one. But those are more older, so I'm not really going to show them. But I did want to show you guys what I have been updating on with these ones. And of course, you know, you guys can expect, you know, more later on this year. And, it, and it's going to cost a bit of money, but the secret is... You know, you want to buy them during that early spring, during your summer time, because you're not going to be spending more money. But once that fall time hits and winter hits, you know, you're going to be spending spending some money. So you, you definitely want to, to get while you can to order jackets. And with me, you know, again, having a bit of money in right now, you know, I'm not too worried to come, you know, December for two jackets I've seen because I'm going to pay the price, you know, which is going to be good, because you're going to get good, good, heavy material. You know, these jackets are going to last me years when I'm dead. You know, I got two older jackets that are packed away that were my grandfather's, you know, he passed in 95, and they're still holding up until this day. So, you know, good leather jackets, you know, you're going to always pay a you know, price for 
you know, me, if you were to ask me, say, hey, how much you think I should pay, pay no more than around 425 to 320 to 200 dollars and then around to 150 because you don't I, I would not pay no more higher than that that's just me especially investing during this time what we're in now because prices are low but I guarantee you once this whole you know whatever we're going through right now passes you know next year I guarantee you things are gonna skyrocket man so you want to get by the getting very good and that's one thing about this pandemic that you know you're gonna find stuff that man I've been wanting to buy that I'm glad it's cheap now get that because once this pandemic's over with a lot of things are gonna go back up in price so I hope you guys enjoyed my leather jacket collection and 